Hi everybody, so I know it's been a long time since you've seen me. I've been busy and moving and working and all kinds of stuff. I haven't had time to make videos and I sat down last night and I thought, why don't I do what I enjoy the most anymore? Which is making videos and watching makeup videos and that just makes me happy. It's something to do in my spare time. So I figured I'm going to try my very hardest to get back into this. And we'll see what happens from there. Ugh, you might not see me for another year. I'm just kidding. I have stuff that I've been stockpiling that I want to do reviews on. Um, let me turn my camera. So I was trying to find the best lighting in my house here. And it turns out the kitchen is the best. I tried the bathroom. I've seen a lot of girls do reviews in their closets. And I just can't bring myself to sit in my closet and do a review. And it's big enough too. And I just didn't try it, and I might one day, I don't know. The lighting in there is pretty spectacular. Okay, so this review today is going to be over Rimmel London's Scandalize, and this is what it looks like. Scandalize Rimmel, and this color is black. Burp black. Okay, so let me go ahead and swatch it for you and show you what it looks like. Okay, I'm going to put it right here on my hand. So it's nice, it goes on real nice, whoops, look at that, Ugh, I pushed too hard. Um, anyway, so it goes on really nice and it claims to be waterproof, it's a waterproof coal something or another, whatever that says. Um, okay, so my review for this, I hate to say it, but I absolutely hate this. I can't, mm, words can't describe how much I don't like this. I do. I like the fact that it's so pigmented and that it does go on so nicely. And whenever you put it on your waterline, it's very, very pigmented and very, very black. And it looks good. You give it a few hours, say an eight hour work day, and it's, it's over. Like, game over. It smears and runs and I was so embarrassed because I went to the store with my boyfriend and I hadn't looked in a mirror in a while, which is like totally against girl code, I guess. But anyway, so um, I went to the bathroom and I, I looked like I had been sweating my butt off all day long because my, it was just, I mean, everywhere. I've never seen a mascara run so bad and it's supposed to be waterproof and it's apparently not. Um, it, it is wearproof though, like you should never wear it. It's terrible. Anyway, so <laughs> $4 at Walmart. I've seen so many good reviews and I was actually on a hunt for a really good drugstore waterproof eyeliner for my waterline. Even though I've already found one that I like, I went on the hunt and saw tons of good reviews about this and I just, I'm not with y'all on it. I don't understand how this is what y'all say it is, a holy grail. However, so while I'm on my adventure of shopping, I read such good reviews about this. I was like, hmm, let's get black and how about nude? Because I read that the nude was really good. And this one is 005 Nude. And this is the same brand, Scandalize, it's just the nude one. And I'll give you a swatch of that. So the nude is right above. Now here's the weird thing. I see I pushed too hard on that too. Like, oh, eh. The weird thing. This one sucks butt, but this one is amazing. And I mean amazing. It goes on just as smooth as the other one. Um, and on your waterline, it's very pigmented and very vibrant, and you can really see it, and it gives you a really good natural, like, not really makeup look. But you have to be careful when you put this on, because if you put too much on, you look a little freaking creepy, like I did, and it's hard to get it off. This one is waterproof, and it does stay on all day, and it looks really, really, really good if you put it on the right way, which is with a very, very light hand. I like this one. So usually when you go and you get two things and one bombs, the, or one bombs, the other one bombs too. So after I tried this, I'm like, oh God, like I wasted eight bucks. And I mean, it's eight bucks, but it's eight bucks, right? But this one is actually one of my holy grail eyeliners. I really like it and it works. So don't get the black, get the nude. Okay. So I also wanted to show you, since I'm dogging a black eyeliner and I said that I already had the one I like, I want to show you what I do like. And of course, I, you know, I was trying to go, oh God, I got this crap all over me. I was trying to go cheaper than what I usually get. I use Mac. I haven't used my camera in so long. 
Mac, and this one is Smolder, and it's also an iCool. And I've had it for a really, really long time, and it was it was like out to here whenever I first got it. So I'm gonna put this under the Rimmel, and that's that. So the Rimmel looks like it goes on a lot smoother, and it does, but it also comes off a lot easier. Um, the MAC one, it goes on smooth, it lasts a long time. I should have checked the price on this before I turn on my camera. I believe it's around $18, 15 to 18 bucks. So it's pretty expensive for an eyeliner, but like I said, I've had it a long time. I use it all the time, and I only use it on my waterline, and I have it on my waterline today. But the only thing about it, like it stays on and it doesn't run, but like on that, it'll stay in your eyelashes to kind of give you that look that you're wearing eyeliner on your waterline, but it doesn't stay vibrant on your actual waterline. So that's the only thing where I'm like, is there a eyeliner out there that does that, that doesn't cost like $100? And if anybody does know of an eyeliner that would actually stay and it's what I'm looking for, will you let me know in the comments? You can just even let me know about the really expensive ones just so I can look it up and try to find my own little what? What is like this but not as expensive? What do you call this? Dupe. I can find my own dupe. There we go. Okay, so bam, that's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!